What you start to learn about you know, the tr traditional chemotherapies versus now targeted therapies and now these immunotherapies, um, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing, it makes sense, right? Um, to get your immune system revved up to fight stuff versus just blasting your body with all these harsh chemicals. You see a lot of research and, and development going on in that area. Rather than a, a death sentence, it's becoming more of a, a manageable disease, chronic disease. So um, that's much better than, <laughs> than the alternative, right? So if you can't get quite to the cure, but the hope would be that this would be a cure. If not, it, it keeps you stable until they find one. A good friend of mine, when she first found out that I was diagnosed, said that we don't need to cure Rusty, we just need to keep him alive until they come up with a cure. I knew nothing about it at all. Um, I thought it was just another chemo and bad things were going to happen <laughs> with it and I was going to have all these side effects. So they tell you about these side effects, but they say, you know, it's an immunotherapy and it's not a biochemo. It's not a chemo that is going to, you're not going to lose your hair. You're not going to have all these things happen. And, you know, then I did more research on it and found that it's doing really well and it increases your body to fight off the cells and shrink them. And, and it's just, it doesn't mean what it meant five years ago or even three years ago. And just, you know, you have to just keep staying positive. This particular trial with immunotherapy happened to be the magic bullet for me. Over the last 20 months, I've gone from tumors sticking out of my body in various places to 95% reduction. So with, with this trial um, in the immunotherapy, um, I've been on it about a year and a half now and continue to have scans that show no new disease um, and, and no growth of the, the spots that were left. So it's pretty amazing. The trial, since I started, um, has pretty much gotten rid of the tumors in my liver and the spleen. They're so small and they haven't changed in months that they don't even think that they're active at all. And there are a lot of options out there now and there's a lot of good things happening. I think everyone handles cancer differently and we just need to find what works for us and hopefully what works for us is available.